Despite the name of this series, I had doubts about Prey's quality prior to its release. Not that the trailers weren't exciting, they were incredible, but we all know how much games can change from the time a trailer is made to the release day of the product. On top of this, Dishonored 2's PC version was borderline unplayable for me upon release, because I was not an invested member of the PC Master Race with a computer worth more than my friend's car. Not only this, but the developers claimed that Steam's refund policy would act as a demo for the members of the Great Legion. Clearly, someone needs to tell them that libraries don't demand £5 from you every time you borrow a book whether you keep it or not. However, I am delighted to say that Prey is one of the highlights of the year so far. It blends elements from my favourite games of all time seamlessly into a creepy, intense and amazing way to spend a day. Or days if you're invested. The media got a virtual hard on for this title as well, because they claimed it was as close as we'd ever get to Half-Life 3. I disagree entirely though. This is my idea of a new Bioshock game. Well, if Bioshock had levels half as good as these, I'd never play another game again. Hashtag edgy opinions are edgy. It tells its story in much the same way, whether that be audio logs or environmental elements, and the layout that can tell you what happened long before. This can be from something as vital to the plot as a character's death to a McDonald's on someone's desk that caused the mimics to multiply based on energy in a Happy Meal. It also borrows the best bits from Dishonored, such as multiple paths in each level, insanely fun yet psychotic powers, and a main character devoid of personality, a common trait of shooters in general. It's a shame the voice work isn't as good as Dishonored, but there are no magic men in space or deranged grannies thinking you're their husband, so it must have been hard to make it as entertaining. It's sufficient enough to tell an effective story though, and far better than you'll find in most games. Also, that soundtrack. Goodness, that soundtrack. Doom's composer is back and almost as good as he was before. That sounds negative, but that's like saying Usain Bolt nearly beats his world record. He's still bloody fast. Prey manages to stand out from the clustered market by recycling genre tropes that were given up on 10 years ago. It may reuse a lot of things, but this is exactly what Doom did and look how good that game was. Also, it's not often you see all these long lost traits in a single package of cutting edge graphics and eargasmic music. Thank you Arcane. Thank you for giving us the game we needed right now. Here's to the rest of the year and rehashed ideas.